become the ring general again. Salute. And because, then there, can you have it over the, the record button? I'll, I'll literally sure you're recording. Yeah, we are. Can, uh, what happened? You didn't press it before. Oh, should we start again? Yeah, let's start again. Fast. Boom. All right, we had a little bit of technical difficulties. Shout out to the producer, David Adesanya. Um, anyway, anyway. Oh, that was just at the bit. Woo, look at that. Expressing himself. Off the fence. In these moments, what I like is just like, it's almost like a lucid dream. Like, I can do whatever I want because it's not real. Like, you know when you, you're dreaming, I don't know, there's the classic of, like, you wake up in your underwear at school, but then you just own it. You're like, fuck it, I'm in my underwear. Yeah, look at my print. What's up? And you pull your pants down, shit on the desk, rub it on the... Oh, I don't know, fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just me? <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> interesting. But yeah, shout out to this guy, though, KG, Kelvin Gastelum. One thing I like about this guy is like, even though he was closer than the fucking Italian to getting the belt, he never like bitched out and like, he never, he never like constantly just held on to this fight. Like I was that close, like his bitch ass teammate. He never just held it. Cause he knew like one day I'll get any, he, he might, he just might next weekend. He just might. So he knew like one day I'll get back to that point. And he's not like just bitching about it constantly. Cause he just knew in his heart he would. Woo. I love that stance. I don't know how, how I created it or where it came from, but I like it. It's, it's a vibe. He's swinging his hand like a pendulum. That was his stance the whole fight too. In the in the in the fourth round, before the fifth round, same thing. And this image right here, frame that, and then let's go. Start straight away. I knew he was gonna come like hard and fast, so I had to establish my distance straight away. Oblique kick, switch stance, switch stance again. Bystantial trademark. I just, I knew he was going to like start strong and try and close the distance. So, well, we felt that way anyway. Our camp already like figured that out. And that's what he did. Boom. Keep, keep him at bay. Let him know where the range is at. See, he's trying to hand fight with me and I'm hand fighting as well. It's the, it's the battle of the lead hands. Uh, he's Southpaw. That's one thing. Because he was my, actually, fun fact. He was my third Southpaw in a row. Yep, he was my third South Point in a row because I had Brunson, Silva, and then him. So he was my third South Point in a row. So I was already used to dealing with South Points. And you see here, he had his hand over my his lead hand over my lead hand. And when that happens, you're under the assumption that if you're on top with the lead hand battles, that you're winning. But it's not always the case, especially if you play the game the way I play. Here we go. Switched again. Just trying to pull the leg from under him. Same thing, back to the center. It was tight in this one, man. A little bit tight, not as loose as I'd like to be. But like I said, there's some factors that might have played factor to this prior. That might have made made me not as loose as I normally am. Head movement on point. He couldn't corner me. He's still pressuring like a bull that he is. And me, the matador. Switch again. Hand fighting. And that bounce, man, that bounce is paying, is doing well for him because it's how he hid when he was about to close the distance. Ooh, head movement. And for a tall guy to duck under a, a, a shorter guy's punch, that's skills. I won't fucking toot my own horn, but uh, toot toot. That's skills. That's skills. And see, he's bouncing. That little step, that little stutter step. You watch this step right here. This right here, when he brings his back leg forward, that's how he. Yep, that's how we used to close the distance this whole fight. That was their game plan. But I didn't read that straight away. I, I, I read it well straight away. See, so he did it again. I read it straight away, but later on, it started to pay, pay dividends. When he bounced, for me, it was a tell. Whenever he had that bounce, like in hindsight, it let me know from like stagnant, he starts bouncing and lets me know he's about to like go in. And the jabs as well for me weren't really like the fastest jabs. They were just to kind of let him know false sense of, of security with the speed and the pace of the jab yep here Ooh. okay now this is my first time getting dropped in a ufc fight but i never got dropped 
<laughs> I never got dropped because my ass never hit the floor. Tell me where. Tell me where. My ass never hit the floor. Mentally, you're still standing. <laughs> Mentally, I'm still standing. I'm still standing. Undefeated. <laughs> but watch this like so there's a little bit of a battle that goes on here he's here hand fighting he switched he, he switched um what could switch steps tries to get in close i throw the right hand he parries it and then okay he parries it boom watch this switch steps right hand parries it and the frame i fucked up my frame wasn't as locked as it could have been because there's a little bit of a bend in my arm. You can't see it because his arms, his right hand's blocking it. But my frame slipped past his face initially and wasn't on his shoulder like it should have been. Yeah, I fucked up in that bit. That was my bad. So that way he was able to close the distance and then boom. Ooh. But again, here, lucid. I was awake. I was aware. It just flashed me. It was a flash knockdown. But I never hit the ground. And then one thing I'm grateful for is Eugene. For all the all the years we've worked in kickboxing, anytime, anytime, you know, we get in the clinch and then we hit the ropes break, he always yelled, to the center, back to the center. And that's exactly what I did. Years of drilling it into my brain and then boom, back to the center, lucid, still in the fight, fainting, giving them the looks, making them worried. Whoop. Missed that just. I right, went back to where we was. Whoop. Went to the body. Good so shot selection from him. He's gonna go up top after that. If he does. Looks, looks. It's that step again. You guys remember that step. That's gonna be the tail of this fight from his side. This step. Whoop. Because look how much distance he gains, bro. Look. When he does that step, he gets within range. And also, his right foot, his lead foot is on the outside of my lead foot. So he has the jump on me. And after that knockdown, like I said, I was lucid. But it. I don't know. It does something to you, like it, like it, like in a video game. It takes your health down a little bit, and then you have to replenish it over time. But then never gets back to the where it really was at the beginning. You know what I mean? That's you know video game things, nerd things. Anyway, that one I I I but that one I answered well with the equal back step. Whoop. Same thing. Look, that's like a dance, like a waltz, like the ocean, the waves. Whoop. And let's take a step back. Ask him with a question mark, like one, just to, just to discourage him. Woo. I come back with my right hand as well. And here he's trying to take me out because he thought I was hurt. And I'm back in the game, baby. Boom. Like, not being biased. You can keep watching. I felt like I won this round without that knockdown. But because of that knockdown and the impact of that knockdown, you know, first time me, I guess, showing any vulnerability in the UFC, here we are. They gave him the first round, which I agree. He had the first round. Again, that's that switch step he tried to use again. Look at that switch step he tried to use again right here. Shake and bake. Oh my god, look at my head movement though. In the matrix. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Try it. And I, fi I fire back as well. But look at this. Let's appreciate it one more time in slow motion. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's hard to do, I'll tell you that. For a tall man like me, not as easy. But you ain't like me. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, look at this boy. Fake a shot. Let him know. <laughs> I remember that. I was like, let me fake a shot, see if he reacts. One day I'm gonna take one of you motherfuckers down. You wouldn't even expect it to be the easiest takedown of my life because everyone just thinks I'm just gonna stand up and bang with them. But like one day I'm just gonna shoot on a motherfucker and be like, what the fuck is this? Ooh, boom. Oh, just clip, just clip at the tip. I fucked up on that one because I overcommitted. He parried it well, ducked it. And now I'm in position. Now I'm out of position because he can clip me. Boom. He doubled it up as well. He doubled it up very well. Whoop. Oh, ah. Just a little, just a little. And I went back to Orthodox. Shift back to Southpaw. Frame. Whoop. And here I think I was going to do something crazy, but I was like, nah, just chill. Go to the end of the round. Bang. Back to the center. I mean, back to the, the corner. They sit down, we stand up, we're lucid, we're fresh. Shout out to Teddy Atlas as well. Legend in the fight game. He said, my demeanor before the second round, 
after being knocked down in, 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 the, in the first round, my demeanor was like, I guess I never lost hope. I wasn't, I was never like phased. I was just like, cause a lot of people, when they, when that happens, especially in my, in my situation, you know, you're climbing, 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 you hit adversity, boom. You're like, what the fuck? Oh my God. And then it fucks with their brain. And then they just, they never come back the same in the second round or the third round. And they lose because they just like, de- they just de- deplete themselves. Like from the mental overload of them being hurt. But for me, I was like, okay, that was one knock. Good job. Watch the next one back to it. And then. It was even harder the second time. And I was like, I'm going to match your pace. I'm going to match your intensity. I'm going to match your energy. And then straight away, I did that. And another one. Another body kick. And fresh, bro. Man, these nostrils, they can take in all the air. I got gas for days. IDGT. I don't get tired. Look at that. Looks. It's the third body kick. Ooh, I like that one because I followed up with the fake two and three. Boom. And look at the what I, what I did beforehand. Faint the hip. Faint the oop, boom, just overload them, and faint the hip at the end as well. Then back to hand fighting, and he's trying to use the same thing and step to read me. <laughs> Almost out of position there. I was gonna go for a fake, a low, low right hand and up top with the with the high kick, the high right kick. Boom. Ooh, see that? I drew it out. I went to the body. He retaliated. I pulled out the way and then cr- ooh. Luckily, distance. I got him later on because you watched the shot that got him. Watch, watch, just watch that shot again. That right hand at the end. Watch that right hand. At the end. That one right there. I was finding it. I almost got it there, but it didn't happen. But you watch in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in about a minute or so. Boom. There it is. I was trying to hit that. Ah, oh, got pop with a jab there. Ooh. Hand fighting. Whoop, whoop. Oh, see, hand. Look where my hand is. I, I fucked up over here. Whoop. I overcommitted because I wasn't going to throw the kick. But then it made me too close to him. And he took advantage of that smartly. Pop, boop. Oh, watch where my hand is. I'm on the phone. Hey. <laughs> hey, man, I got the bars, bro. Yep, again. Just letting them know. I know where you are. And send looking. When my head is down, you watch the sequence right here. When my head is down, a lot of people have their head down sometimes and they do this and they just show themselves. They can't see what's in front of them. But for me, when I have my head down, my eyes are looking up and I'm watching everything. I pre everything. I just see everything. Watch this. Switch. Switch. Again. Try to hand fight. Whoop. Boom. Go back again. Watch me. I see everything when I have my head down. I'm watching. I'm watching. I know where he's at. I'm not retreating. Out of fear, I'm retreating just defense. And nothing, nothing. You know they touch me now. Look at that. There we go. That was a good jab. Boom. Now that was that right hand I was telling you guys about. I almost read it. I almost caught it before. Same exact punch. I got him this time. Bosa! Let's go again. He did it two times in a row, two close together. So here's the first one. Hup. Stupid. Not again. Boom. You can't do the same thing too many times in a row, especially when you have them stacked together too close. Because then I go read them. <laughs> I beg. <laughs> Let's just watch it again for dramatic effect. Boom. And then straight on him. Good defense, cause bro, this guy you'll see later on. He's just hard to he's hard to put away. And I block his other arm from grabbing it, and I go Kimura trap, go back up, and then I'm on him again. Oh, see now I use this trick against him. Look at my step. Look at my little hop step. Look at my little hop step with the jab, and I extend my jab though. Boom. Mine's a little bit different. He you read that one well, but yeah, okay. He back in the game, but he's not the same. Boom. Okay. And then I fake the uppercut. Faint, faint. Boom, boom. I like the sequence. Boof. Oh, I love the sequence. I go high kick, right hand, and then boom. Ooh, I went also that one. You see where I was aiming at? Because sometimes I've, I've heard Eugene talk about um, his trainer, Lolo, Lolo Hemuli. Shout out to him, one of the goats of NZ. He, he talks about like 
instead of aiming for the head drop your punch down like 10 inches just drop it down to the chest so that's what I did here I went high kick right hand and I was like right watch, the, watch where my right hand lands I dropped it down to here because I was like well if I'm aiming the head he's doing this he's doing that if I drop it down to the chest he go chop him and we proceed faint again one thing I attack and I faint too ooh crack them draw it out uh, make him guess you force them to fucking move force them to make a move that's what I do it's his chest not checkers force them to make a move faint and then uh, uh, I'm here boom I try to crack him it wasn't as clean and he try to crack back that's one thing about this guy you can't sleep on him man if you attack with Kelvin and you and you admire your work it could be game over it could be like that's it you get caught I wasn't like fuck that was my chance ooh I love that one lead lead two I just lean over boom missed the right hook and he misses his I clack <laughs> I clank off his head a little bit I'm breathing a little bit heavy here so that's why that jab got me I can see it a little bit heavy but my recovery game is different though all right and then here's this bit here's this bit right here I was like okay he's in front of me my main objective was to get my left foot across to the outside of his back leg or in line with his back leg and spin all this happened with the span of like that split second millisecond just boom in my brain oh do the elbow but like i was thinking don't just throw the elbow get your left leg across his left leg or in line with his left leg before you throw it and that's what happened observe boom and bro this guy blockhead old blocky his he just absorbed that like most people would have been fucked up from that finish but then he takes it and he he shoots straight away and i circle to the left boom like we've always worked and he starts attacking straight away because i thought he would be on wobbly legs but i'm like oh shit he's okay he's still here all right cool bet it's a second round too imagine this this is the pace we've been putting already it's the second round he tries again ah see circles circles i spin to my left again spin spin it was a battle of will in that one and i came out on top and that would have discouraged him that would have been like oh shit he's not that easy to take down i have to keep striving with this motherfucker shit and then again now third round look at us i told the line he's right there ready to go and we just knew it was like right let's go this is this is i don't know how to describe this but if you know you know i can't how do i describe like we know what's up he this guy this, this motherfucker the goat knows what's up this mexicano he knows what's up like we both know we got three more rounds of this shit <laughs> potentially so we, we both knew and we're just like i wouldn't say it's a poker face but it's like i'm gonna show you i'm game so i'm gonna show you i'm game or well, fuck you fuck you then let's go it's kind of, but not in a bad vibe but just like manna you know the vibes play yeah very interesting and back again he didn't start it. I knew he wasn't gonna start as strong this 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 round. We knew we knew he wasn't gonna start as strong this round, like the way he did in the first two rounds where he pressured us. So he hits me with a body kick. I hit him with an inside leg kick. Faint as well. That bounces to exactly do that little step. He's gonna bounce, 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 bounce. But I have to disrupt him with my own attacks with you know, while he's bouncing, so he doesn't have time to like just get into that rhythm and then attack. I'm tracking him here. I'm just tracking him. See, I'm not chasing him. I'm just tracking him mirror i'm in his face i'm i'm giving him this energy and I, again when i move you move look at that i don't i don't follow him. i crack him he runs i cut him off hits me with a good body shot good shot selector and here we're just kind of like gauging each other again Ooh, body kick that's not on the elbow <laughs> and i gave him that look because i knew it was like whoo you know that hurt boy Ooh, off i like that as well i gotta bring that back i don't know what i did i like lean the shoulder forward and i pop the two off it shoulder forward boom two we powerful head kick he blocks it back to southpaw Ooh. boom nice powerful low kick just pop the heel up just to let him know control the hands and then when he comes through i take a step back control the hands he comes through take a step back because i can read him now i like this you guys here as well it's like a little action movie sequence low kick right hand boom head kick boom ah another one let's see it's a tit for tat tit for tat 
it's just that was a battle of will who's gonna in that mo in this moment it was about who's gonna land last is gonna win that exchange i felt like i won it boom so i felt like i won that exchange even though he landed a little bit as well i gotta put it further away boy oh, i love that the distance i can read it now he does that little hop step again Ooh, miss bam oh let's see another one that little hop step started getting him in trouble boom and a knee i missed that one shoots for the takedown on the hook straight away reaction drills from andre shoots for the takedown and watch this my hands on the hook i'm gonna fuck around pull him up like a pair of pants urkel oh nice and i like that two and then a one two off beat off that boom ah he's good bro i'm telling you kelvin is good don't sleep on my mans mm. <laughs> boom oh that was a good one boom body kick and then faint him oh, i like that boom boom off beat that off beat one two is paying money now look at this off beat boom and boom love that try to sweep him a little bit look offering my head see if he takes the bait he's throwing that circle that's stirring the pot oh that was a good one he's stirring the pot he's stirring the pot and i try to take my left foot on the outside of his right foot my lead foot on, on the outside of his lead foot and then get him turning and while he's turning i'll do the right hand take my left foot on the outside of his lead foot here his right foot and i throw the right hand but he parries it and it shoots for the takedown and that was really good. That was really good. Again. So. Oh. Boom. Because I overcommitted. And then straight back to the fence. Huh. <laughs> back to the fence. And I controlled him. Foot on the hip. Push off. Back to the center. <sighs> Again. Oh. Ah. I misjudged. I kind of smirked at myself. Look at this dumbass. Look at him. Huh. Ah, I fucked that up. I wasn't really close to the fence. And I laughed at myself. I was like, <laughs> dummy. <laughs> I laughed at myself. Just chilling now. Doing our thing. No, he's back here. To -to bang. No, he's back. And let's go. And again, he's going to start because he knew. He knew he was down two rounds now. After the second round, I, 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 I knew, they knew they were down. Like it was 1-1. One, one. So he wasn't really pushing in the, in the beginning of the third. But this one, the fourth round, he knew he was down two rounds. Because I owned that last round. So he's like, right, I got to push. I got to push. I got to make this happen. I got to make this happen. Leji. Missed me. Whoop, another one. He's coming. Man, that was a nice left hand, though. Look at the heat. Look at this one. Rum. Fuck. I like the way he throws it. Just threw it down like a missile. Boom! Fuck! Miss me with that bullshit. Ah. Intermission. <laughs> intermission. 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 I'm gonna attempt a vorteke. <laughs> Need something, for, something live for the show. A halftime show. Ready? Fuck. <laughs> no, fuck it up. Alright, ready up. Mm -mm. Oh wow! It was too much. I had to take a little bit down. <coughs> it was too much. It was too much. I had to take a little bit down. All right, standard will take a height. This is this is acceptable. Mm. You know it's not <laughs> tonight's not the night. <laughs> Boom! And here I was in a firefight. Sometimes you get in the zone where you just like have like a little moment of just like. If you compare it to NFL Streets, Game Breaker. If you compare it to, um, and yeah, like NFL Street, like Game Breaker, that mode. You know, ah! So I had a little, a little flash of that in the sequence where I was just like, all right, cool, let's stand and bang. Boom. I was like, oh, yeah, fuck, you want to bang? To the bang. I was like, yeah. So I'm coming forward, bro. I'm bringing that heat. I didn't back up. I'm right there. I'm right there. I ain't back up. I ain't sacked for no one. Shift, move away, move away. Try to catch him. Ah, I try to drift away. I try to sneak it. Do a little sneaky sneaky on him. A little sneaky sneaky. See that? A sneaky sneaky. I'm like, wait. Oh, I'm just going to move over here. 
and chill and uh, I'm going to not attack you. Oh, but he's very smart. And now here, moment of truth. This bit right here, he is, he's thrown zero head kicks the whole fight. Like none. What a fabulous, you know, hezzy, if you will. Hezzy to like, well, now I'm going to throw a head kick because I'm not expecting it after fucking four rounds. You know, I'm not expecting a head kick. What does he do? Stutter kick, boom. Caught me right on the side of this. This might have knocked some some average men out or some other UFC fighters out. I'll be honest. But look at how I recover. Look at how I recover. Even takes him like three seconds to realize I'm hurt. Takes a second or two for the for the commentators to realize I'm hurt. And then boom. And then I'm there. Boom. Big beast. Ooh. Kangaga. I was just like, alright, bet. In my head, I was like, cool. You're rocked. Cause I felt it. I remember it was just like like my brain was in the ocean. <laughs> That's how I felt. Like on a fishing boat or something. And it's just like only for about like four seconds. That's why I like mm, I stood the stance. Stance. Strong. Staunch. I was like, gather yourself. But then he threw something else. I thought he was gonna take his time, but then I, I guess he had a hunch and he's like, is he hurt? Because I said that stagger. He's like, let me try. And he tested the waters and Oh, he's hurt! He's hurt! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! You see there? <laughs> a little stumble. Look at good balance. And then here in this bit here, I shell up and I was like, right. Whatever punches he throws at me, cover up and keep moving cover up and keep moving i wasn't sure what i was gonna do after that but i need to just cover up and keep moving because it'll pay off it'll pay off and he shoots for a takedown which was smart of him but then i, I remember after the fight people was oh kevin could have won the fight if he didn't shoot for a takedown no he couldn't he couldn't have it wouldn't have worked but he shot for a takedown which was a i guess a good option for him but not the best option for him Boom. Get up. See what I did there? I tied his hands up. So I got his hand. I'm holding his right hand. I'm his left hand with my right hand. And I attach it to my left hand. I transfer it to my left hand. And then I use that to like whoop, break free while he tries to punch me on the exit. And I'm back at it. Look at me. Boom. Ooh, head kick. You want to see madness? You want to see crazy? I know that one. One more time. So I'm here, like after I just got rocked, I'm back in the fight. I'm letting them know I ain't going nowhere. All this while I was kind of, I wasn't really rocked here, I guess. I guess I was, I recovered very well. Another stupid takedown attempt. Ha! Let's laugh at me. <laughs> Let's laugh at me. Oh, so silly, boy. So for me, I was winning the round until that head kick moment, and I felt like that got him the round. So now, this place is going crazy after four rounds of fucking madness. It's, it's, it's live, it's electric. And it's probably two apiece, and it's down to the last round. And what Eugene was telling me here wasn't anything technical, it was more. And he whispers it to me. It's like, we've been here before. We've been here before many times. And I, and I remember as well, like in, in, in the corner, I remember just, cause I could hear you boy simultaneously, I could hear Brad in my ear, like, go numb, bro, go numb, embrace the darkness, go numb, bro. And then that's when this bit, came, this bit, I swear to God, all my life, I was ready to give my life. I said it, I said it, I said what I said. You can't beat me. I'm prepared to die. And honestly, man, like, there's not many moments in someone's life where you like surrender to everything. Every time I just got chills again when I think about it. It's weird. For me, this um, people might, oh, it's corny as fuck, this and that, but like, oh, it's cringe as fuck. When people say cringe, you know what that means to me? Cringe, like well, so, things that have made me cringe in the past is when I see someone doing something I could never do. I see someone doing something I would never put myself in, but like, when someone says cringe, it just lets me know like they ain't ballsy enough to do the shit that I do. They ain't ballsy enough to put themselves out there like 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 I do. 
And this is me on the fifth round of a championship fight where I just lost the last round potentially after dominating in a fucking barn burner, electrifying showdown between two warriors. Fuck, if you, if you don't know, if you think it's cringe or whatever, that's you. Stay behind your desktop, stay behind your phone. And that's why no one will ever remember your name. Troy. We're back at the fifth round. And it started because we knew it's what it's two apiece. Who wants it? Who wants it? I'm fainting him. Giving them the reads. All the looks, all the reads. So much reads. You think I'm in a library? Again! Use one of them. Use one of them. One of them will work. Mm. I love the sequence. Fake knee and I hit him with three piece. Woo! Look at that. Fake the knee and I used to go southpaw. Three piece. No soda. Sorry, no drink. You're broke. Oh. oh. And he's still de- like he oh. He's still defensively responsible. And I wasn't in that in that one. Cause look, he's defensively responsible. And I didn't move back well enough when he when he cracked me with that 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 rare hand. That one I did. I moved out the way. From this moment, three minutes and forty-six seconds is where the fight was over. Faint low kick, boom! Oh, look at this! Because I heard him here. He was rocked. He's got such a good poker face that you don't know he's hurt, but he gets hurt badly here. Faint the low kick and then rear hand, and he shoots. He's like, oh fuck! Huh? And then here, get the neck, guillotino. I should have dropped back, but I didn't because it was tight. You know why it was tight? Oh, I know it was tight because he was forced to try and escape. He did the roll. Get a roll. Crikey, Mike. Then goes in a triangle. And then almost he almost like escaped, but then I snatched it. I pulled my foot down. Remember what we got taught at 10 a.m.? Grab the left foot and then pull it down before you cinch it up. But then his le- his, it wasn't over the ankle. It wasn't over the ankle. That's the problem. It was over my foot. You can see it, it was over my foot. If it was deeper in the ankle, I would have finished the fight. Guarantee you I would have finished the fight. And I rolled him. So when I couldn't get it and I knew I wasn't gonna finish it, I decided I'm just gonna roll him and get on top. And he got out the back door and I went back on top and everyone just goes nuts. Ah! We're fighting! We're fighting! Ah! Look at him, he comes at me straight away and I'm like, alright, bet, let me show you. I really I'm really about that life. Head down. Huh. I was uh, really about this life. Hands up. And this is just a fight now. This is just will. Battle of will. Not as much skill, but just more battle of will. Again, ooh, look at that sequence. Faint the low kick and through the right hand. Boom, pull out the way. Crack him again. Not as clean. Ooh, oh man, I'm so clean with it. Boom, ooh, boom, ooh. Look at that. Same thing. Faint the low kick in the right hand. Boom, and another right hand. Bro, he's bad, man. This guy just does not go down. Boom. Ooh. Ooh. See here, that was dangerous. We're just kind of being sloppy here because we're both tired. But it's about Will because I could have got caught in that one with his rear hand. Ooh, get the jab. Missed the right hand. Head down. Look at that. Still, like I said, when I have my head down, I'm looking at you. Head down. Ooh, but I missed. Still looking at you, though. Boom. Oh, snapped his head back like a bubble head. Look at this. <laughs> My God. Another one. He's tough, man. Like, because most people would have just, like, been gone down. And they wouldn't even be coming back at me like this. Like, but he's just, he's, he's built different. And here he goes. Low. Pull back counter. Oh, just sit him down. Hammer fists. You know what? Let me just watch the enjoy the last minute of it because this was just like beautiful. This last minute of this fight was magical, was movie type shit. And there, okay, one more rewind. There, I was gonna do this kick, this kick that you guys have seen already. Someone get knocked out by, but he wasn't holding me at the ankle. That's why I didn't do it because I was like, I'm gonna spin, I'm gonna spin. That's what I thought there, but he wasn't holding me at the ankle, so I was like, ah, don't do it. Elbow again because that's disturbing him. And he couldn't get me down. 
Like, I just knew. I was like, come on, let's go. Here, we're gonna die here, you and me. Let's go. Dude, I just knew. Boof! Oh, from heaven. Okay, here as well. I was thinking of a, of a DOS choke. I realized if I did it this late in the fight, after I just hurt this guy, Yuji might be mad at me if I don't get it. And that's why I opted not to, and I went to his back instead. Because you see, I pause here for a little bit. I pause here for a little bit. Not to catch my breath, to think. Do I do the choke? Do I do it? Nah, I get to the back. Oh, I get to the back, and I just pummeled him. Boom, boom. And this is the beautiful, beautiful finishing sequence. Look at this shit. I was fucking just, just go. We just fucking said, let's go. Let's go, you and me. You and me. Oh. Sit down. And then punch from heaven. It could have been stopped there, man. But I think Goddard was giving them the benefit of the doubt. Which I guess was fair enough. But it could have been stopped. I would have got a finish. Maybe even the latest finish in UFC history. And I remember walking around here. I was walked around like, yeah. Let him know. Let him know. I put my heart and soul in this fight. It's weird to watch me like this because for me, I still don't feel like it's me. Even though I know it's me, it's just, it's like a, like, this is the beast. This is the, the guy that's, this is the guy that's in me. <laughs> I was like, oh, uggery. I was there. I looked at myself. I was like, holy fuck. Ah, you ugly motherfucker. Ugly. Ugly. <laughs> and he's trying to pretend see acting is what I was talking about you gotta let him know but it's too late like I knew I won and I showed that I won after the fight I be a coon you know the vibes what's in what's in the sop cop to the back big what's in and here I was like, Ooh. when I did that, I was like, don't fuck me on this. I was like, don't fuck me on this. And I was just like, don't fuck me on this. I was listening. And his hand up here, you watch Kelvin. His disappointment. You watch his disappointment. Like, how... I don't know how to describe it. Like, but I would have hate to be him this night after the fight like that and you watch the sense of elation in my in my face in my demeanor because of what we just accompl accomplished like <sighs> even I feel the same thing again I was just in the moment I was just in the moment and then I looked I pointed out pointed at Eugene I was like look to my team as well we did it and while I, why I did that fuck I keep getting chills why I pointed to the sky because we made a promise and Eugene was looking at me and said for him for Jamie and I was like yeah and I was like we did it like because I mean we were going to get him to the UFC he was going to get him to the UFC and you know like I said after I got in the UFC it was like shit okay we brought him with us we bring him with us everywhere we go I don't talk about it often because it's like I'm not trying to make a story off my friend you know but yeah it's something that i guess we'll forever live with but yeah a moment like this when eugene was like to him not just jamie for woman monu as well all our falling soldiers from the gym the difference with jamie is because i was closer to jamie he was one of my like sparring partners one of my teammates one of my one of my closest friends you know so yeah we had a we had a uh, i guess a, a bond as well but you know, we don't talk about it often. Even Dan, Dan barely talks about it. But yeah, we, we take him with him wherever we go. And I said something to him. What did I say? Oh, I saw my mom. Oh, I almost cried here. I almost cried here. I just like hugged the belt or hugged myself, hugged my mom. And it was just, it was just, it's a beautiful thing to always have my family in, in the cage after the fight. I'm glad we did this. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad we did this. But for me, it was my way of, like, honoring people who've been with me since day one. My family, you know. And then we did here. Yeah. But now we got three. Three African champions. 
Oh man, it's always that. It's, it's awesome to make my family proud. It's like the best thing. There's a cool picture as well of me and my dad walking, holding hands. Yeah, for me, honestly, like uh, that picture with me and my dad is just like priceless. In the moment, look at us. Look at Shay. Bolu, they here. Big bonju. Hey, yeah. <laughs> oh shit! All right. Fuck. That was awesome. Wow. Later. Peace.